What is up everyone here in this how-to video I'm going to show you how to create an extension and provision a phone in this case I'm going to use a Yealink T46 um, this is 3CX version 15 also it's PBX and flash version 5 now powered by 3CX I believe they're exactly the same um, this instance is in the Google Cloud on a Linux machine which is just released in October of 2016 um, it's currently in beta, but uh, I would ex expect in the next couple weeks to be out of beta and fully functional. Um, I will have videos on how to set up a Google Cloud instance so you can run it for free. Um, and so let's get started. So to create an extension, head over to Extensions, Add, and now you're going to want to enter all the information. Uh, name, I'm just going to leave most of this stuff not filled out for the purpose of this video. Um, the purpose of this video is mostly just to set up an extension and um, and show you how to provision it. Okay, so now we're going to provision a phone. We'll hit add, select the phone. Like I said, this is a T46. You're going to want to put the MAC address, which you can get off of the phone or off the bottom of the phone typically. I'll just copy it right off the bottom. I would probably recommend um, logging into the phone and just copy and pasting it to kind of eliminate the human error as uh, aspect of everything. Hopefully it's right. should be. Okay. And then here's where you'll, um, depending on where this phone is located and where your server is, like I said, mine's in the Google Cloud. If it was on site, I would definitely just keep leave this alone. I would copy this. As you can see, it's a local address. Um, I'll just copy and paste this into the server URL on the T link on the Yealink T46, and I currently do not have the SPC um, set up, so I'm just going to do direct SIP. But the purpose again is just to provision the phone. Um, I hit copy, and once I have the SPC, I'll make another video. Um, copy, and then I'm going to go into the phone, which is right here. Yay link admin admin. Oops, actually I'm not done yet. Um, all right, so again, direct death, direct zips done. Everything else should be fine. Then I'm gonna just put a couple buttons on here. We'll go a couple parking buttons. Okay, and we'll add a BLF of that one other extension that I don't have spun up. And then, oh, another thing, options. If this is on-premise, you don't have to worry about this. But if this phone um, was remotely from the server, you don't want to uncheck this. Otherwise, the phone will not connect. And then just hit OK. All right. So, again, so again I just want to make sure that I got the, uh, the provisioning URL. I'll copy this. I'm going to populate within the 3CX or within the phone auto provision server URL paste confirm and auto provision this might take a couple minutes to do um, so I'm just going to pause the video for now and I'll come back to it okay and we're all set and we're back so one thing I wanted to say is is after I hit confirm and auto provision now, it did say that it was done and complete, but it actually isn't. The phone has to restart. Um, it actually took uh, probably within a minute for the phone to restart and then the restart process. And now the phone is up. Um, if I go to status, oops, got to log back in. And oh, again, so now a new password is created. And in order to find out what that password is, make sure you go over to phone provisioning. You're going to want to scroll down uh, phone web page password. So you got a new password now. It's not admin admin. You want to make sure um, that you know that. And you're going to log in. And now I can see that it is registered. Okay. So again, this is a remote phone set up as stun. Uh, what you really want to do is use an SBC server. Uh, I'm sorry, an, S an SB C is uh, session border control, which 3CX, you can uh, install one on a Raspberry Pi, which is some, it's a small Linux device that's going to handle all your VoIP traffic. Um, if you have issues with 
the phone's disconnecting or uh, one-way audio or no audio, it's because um, you need to have this session border control um, in place. Um, if you use ours, we, we actually use a, 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 a off, an off-site uh, SBC, which handles all your traffic. Um, but if you're going to have your own cloud or a remote server, you're going to want to have one of these um, wherever your phones are located. Um, give us, you know, give us a call if you have any problems with that or any uh, questions or concerns, or or ask them in the comment section. Uh, so again, uh, this is a quick how-to. Um, as you can see here, if we go back to the dashboard, we have extensions up one of two. Um, I can call the voicemail. Hit send. Please enter personal. Okay, so the phone is up. If you go over to extensions, you can see that the green means it is registered. So again, that's it. I hope this was helpful and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or give us a call or subscribe to our channel for more how-to videos. Uh, a lot more on the way. Um, thanks again.